And so no, your no. dad was under the impression that Truman was defeated and humiliated in mm. Korea? Yeah, yeah. Well, that makes Truman even greater because mm. Truman is in the book, mm -hmm. in the chapter, in, in, in many chapters, as you know. He, he, uh, he's of interest to me because, in contrast to people like Hannibal, he succeeded mm -hmm. late in life, mm -hmm. very late, in his 60s. Mm. And nobody thought, for, so a lot of us, you know, it's a life trajectory. Some, some of us need to mature before we're ready for success. And he's an example of that. But then he's a great example of thinking strategically as opposed to tactically and and that's what you're referring to now mm -hmm. in the Korean War if, if I should maybe I just quick refreshers soon after the Second World War the Korean War broke out and that was in the context of the Cold War Truman sent a general named Douglas MacArthur to fight it was actually on, you know, officially they were UN, United Nations forces, but they were American forces, basically. And under the command of Douglas MacArthur, who was this prima donna, this swashbuckling hero. Uh, and, and he becomes a sort of a, a sim, you know, a, an archetype of, of the tactical approach. He wanted to win this war. And he first rolled back the North Koreans. Uh, uh, but then they fought back, and then the Chinese attacked. Mm -hmm. And Truman, who was, of course, the, the commander-in-chief, the, the elected civilian in, in charge of strategy, understood mm -hmm. that there is something very dangerous happening and that we're, he was at risk of confusing tactics with strategy. Mm -hmm. The tactics are defined as you win battles, you win the war. That was Douglas MacArthur. He wanted literally to nuke the North Koreans mm -hmm. and the Chinese. He wanted to start throwing nuclear bombs. Mm -hmm. And MacArthur realized, and Truman, the strategist, realized, no, because they're, we've already drawn the Chinese in, we might draw the Soviets in, we might have World War III. Yeah. The definite, no, we could maybe win this war in Korea, mm -hmm. but the price would be World War III, mm -hmm. nuclear bombs on both sides, mm -hmm. No one left to march in the victory parade because the planet is radioactive. Mm -hmm. That cannot be the definition definition of success. That's the definition of disaster. Mm -hmm. And then took his grand vision and his strategic thinking to realize it. So he eventually MacArthur, mm -hmm. the general, and Truman, the commander in chief, became enemies. Mm -hmm. And Truman fired MacArthur which was difficult because MacArthur was popular and Truman was unpopular at first because Americans don't like to lose. Mm -hmm. but, but, but Truman, now we realize that he was redefining success. And this is the key point, again, remember we're drawing mm -hmm. lessons for us, is you cannot be the one to win the battles mm -hmm. and lose the war. Mm -hmm. You cannot even sometimes be the one to win the war at all costs but lose the peace. And Truman said, we need to win the peace. And what did he do? So in terms of your dad remembers him being defeated and humiliated, I mm -hmm. remember him taking the high road mm -hmm. and preserving the planet and a very stable peace throughout the Cold War, mm -hmm. which we then eventually won, mm -hmm. the Cold War. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and so he made the right decision. And I think, I think he's a great leader for that. And I think for our own lives, we have a lot to learn from him. Mm -hmm. Uh, in, in that way, because he, he thought, well, what, what, what is the world like after the war? Do I want that world? Yeah, well, that's what we're yeah. trying to get to. Yeah, it was bone chilling, uh, the line in the book. I read uh, MacArthur at one time wanted to use, uh, deploy 40 to 50 nuclear weapons between China and Korea and create a nuclear wasteland. It's like, holy cow. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! And he, he went he he went nuts. I mean, he was a bit of a, a extreme example. But I think this happens to a lot of us when uh, you know we have a, a election going on, a, a lot of fights in the uh, Republican primaries, and it, it, just look around you or in your office politics or wherever. Sometimes people get so wound up with winning a particular fight they're in that they make it so much worse for themselves that they forget why they picked this fight in the first place. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's say, I have a, let's say you, you and your, your, your girlfriend, your wife or your partner, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we, we have a fight. Well, maybe I'll, I'll do a rhetorical victory. Maybe I can say, well, I told you so or this, but, but you damage the relationship. Mm -hmm. That would be an example, right? That would right. be like, you know, the example of the, the, 
I don't want to say Cold War, but, but, but Truman taught us to say, no, look, in this case, preserve the relationship. It's not important who, who, who gave whom the car keys. Mm. Let that one go. Right. right.